So this is a lesson out there. If you're planning to travel internationally, you're tra planning to travel to a different country, you're going to travel to a country where there's, you know, there's a border patrol or you have to go through customs and stuff like that. This is a warning for all those people out there. It doesn't happen as much, but then what it happens, you'll end up in jail, you'll end up deported or you'll end up arrested. And you don't want that to happen. Look at these clothes here. So somebody will give you an item like this. You see they have tags on them. Look at these clothes. But then when you look here, they found this person, like one of the items here had drugs in the middle. welcome to my youtube channel if you've not subscribed to my channel i highly recommend that you subscribe but if you've already subscribed to my channel i just want to say thank you for subscribing thank you for watching my videos and for all those people who are sharing my channel with your friends and your relatives on your facebook on whatever platform you're helping me grow so thank you so much for your support so today i'll be talking about a very important topic and if you've not watched any of my other videos this is the video you want to watch because it might be the difference between losing your livelihood and keeping it is as simple as that so how many times has somebody ever given to you something like a package and they're like hey my friend i have i have like you know a relative in the united states i have a relative in germany in the uk can you please take this package to them or maybe they're in the u.s and they're like can you please take this package to my relative who lives in kenya lives in africa in whatever country and you didn't ask any questions you just took the package and you delivered it to them that's where the problem is that's exactly what this video is gonna be about i'm gonna tell you a personal story that really happened to me the first time like i came to the united states so we were at the port of entry i think it was somewhere in chicago i don't remember so we were like students a bunch of students in one flight so you know like usually in kenya when you're going to high school or whatever like something like that your parents will buy you like you know toothpaste they will buy you like you know uh detergent and stuff like that that you go to school with so that you can wash clothes you know like when you go to a new area you just want to have something to start with before you can you can figure out where the shops are so we had a student who when we came to the united states had like you know toothpaste and all that soap and everything like you know detergent and for some reason i don't know what happened at the jkia but those things got through but then when we got to uh the port of entry in chicago the customs they found those things when they found those things so they were like, okay, so who are these things belong to? And then they called the student and you know, we were like, we were, they were not alone. They were not traveling alone. We were traveling together, going to the same school. So they called us together and I'm, I'm there like wondering like, why, why are they calling us? Because you know, it was my first international flight. I didn't know what was going on. So as we were waiting, oh my God, I started seeing like, you know, the FBI, bomb squad you know they have like these jackets that are bulletproof black they're wearing all black and they have like this fbi things bomb squad bomb whatever and i'm like oh my god what's happening and they just keep coming and we're, we are there and we, people are questioning us so at the beginning i thought i was in trouble why because before i came to the united states you know when over there like when you're in africa and you like music you can go like usually you used to go to river road and then they had like the cds so they will burn the cd and one cd had like 150 songs in there so you just buy one mp3 cd that was years ago so kids who are born this they don't know what i'm talking about but then we used to have a cd you get an mp3 has like 150 backstreet boys all those songs in there so i had those i had like five of them and before i got on the flight one of my friends told me that you know what like you know these cds when you go to them like you know they're illegal in america because this is it shows like it's pirated stuff like you know it's like you are stealing other people's music and not paying for it you know something like that but then i'm like ah oh, they don't know what they're talking about so i put the cds in my check-in bags there were like three of them so the moment I saw bomb squad, FBI, police, and whatever, the port of entry, 
I thought my CDs were in trouble. I knew I was going to jail. I'm like, oh my God, it's the CDs. So when the guy was questioning us, I just went up front. I'm like, you know what? I have some CDs from Kenya. I so I was talking to this cop. The cop was like, you know what? Oh, that's not the problem. We have a bigger problem. And I'm like, wait a minute. Bigger problem? What? You know, the way you're from Africa. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting deported. Because everything, like, you know, they scare you back there. Like, you can be deported for every, anything. So I'm like, oh, that's not the big problem. So where is the problem here? And then the officer is like, you know, we found some items. And, you know, you know, when you come here, like, you know, you're still getting used to the American english and stuff like that so pretty much like after he told me like we were in problems with the complicated american english like trust me he spoke for like a whole 30 minutes i didn't know what he was talking about i'm like oh my god we're in trouble he opened the carry-on bag i don't know how these items made on the carry-on bag so that student had this toothpaste and all that perfume and everything in the carry-on bag and it made through the the checkpoint at jkia i don't know how that happened so they opened it and there's toothpaste and everything in there. They're like, who does this belong to? And then the guy is like, yeah, they're mine. You know, I'm going to school and, you know, I need toothbrush and toothpaste and whatever and that. And then so they questioned us and they just realized like, you know, this is a bunch of like, you know, villagers. We don't know what's going on. Like, you know, these are just Washamba from over there. So they figured out we didn't have anything like we didn't have bad intentions. So they let us go. Why am I telling you this story? What if that student was carrying drugs? What if that student had something that was banned in the United States? As much as the student would be in trouble, we would have been in trouble as well because we are traveling together. What am I trying to say? Even if you're coming to the same school, even if you're traveling together, if you're not like somebody is your family or whatever, travel independently. You're on the same flight, but then when they say, who is with this one? Don't say I'm with them. Because if they're carrying anything illegal, you are gonna be in the hook as well, okay? It brings you up to the main point. What am I trying to say? If this is your first international flight, when you go outside the country to come here in the US as a DV lottery, make sure don't carry any package from somebody that you don't know who they are. You don't know what's in the package. Be My African people, usually we're very trusting. We just know like, you know, if this person knows this person, this is my relative, this is my friend. This is We're very trusting when it comes to like, you know, uh, we've lived together as a community. Like our culture is more of like a social setting where we live as a community. So people are very trusting, especially if you live in a social setup where everybody, you know, lives as a community. But, we are trusting way too much, but then like as the world is moving forward, things are changing. We are trying, like some, like if you've realized we've, we are losing some of our like, you know, cultural aspects and stuff like that in regards to trust and people are doing stuff they're supposed to. If you're planning to travel internationally, like, you know, when I came to the United States, actually coming to the United States was my first international flight. When I was in Kenya, I was flying like 540, flight 540 at that time. And it was a big deal for me, you know. I thought like, you know, flying 540, like I was flying. So that's, that, that was a big thing back then. But then like coming to America was my first international flight. And before I took the first international flight, I didn't have anybody to tell me anything. I got a lot of packages for people that I brought to the United States that, it, that I didn't even know. They told me, just come, get this package. When you get to the United States, uh, here's the money you'll pay for shipping and then you you know it gets delivered to them and I did that but then looking back right now I'm like that was very naive of me everything could have gone wrong everything but I didn't know at that time that's why like you know I'm doing this video so that I educate people who uh, might run in those situations but when you receive a package from your family from your friend from anybody out there the first thing you want to do make sure you know these people really well you know like this is my mother this is my father this is my brother sister my friend you know them really well and you know their character you know their behavior you know their dealings you know what they do because that's where the trust comes in because when they give you like if your mother gives you vegetables to take to the united states that's not a big deal that's going to be vegetables in there correct because they're your mother you know they're not going to do anything to jeopardize your visa or anything but then if a friend gives you something like a package 
or a friend of a friend who's like okay you know what you won the dv lottery uh can you please take this package to my friend who lives in the united states you might want to double check that why because not everybody has like your best interest at heart some people look out for themselves and they don't look out for you that's why you need to look out for yourself so if somebody gives you a package to take to the united states if it's somebody that you you don't you know is not your family or or it's not somebody that you know really well make sure the package is packed in the original package so if it's like you know they're giving you tea leaves like ketepa tea leaves they're giving you um something like royco or they're giving you spices from africa make sure it's in the original package and the package is sealed and it's sealed there's expiration date there's everything like the package is intact so that way you know what you're bringing to the united states let nobody give you just a package and you're like hey here take this to the united states it doesn't work like that make sure you know what's in the package number two if they give you the package see what contents are in there because there's some things that are illegal in one country and legal in another country like you like you saw what happened with a, a basketball player he had medical marijuana and went to russia russia you'll be arrested for medical marijuana in america is legal but you go to russia girl you'll end up in jail so that's why you need to see what contents are in there and to see what port of entries you'll be going through to see if those items that you're carrying are legal there's some things like seeds and stuff like that people get through with them but when you're caught with them in other countries they pose a risk coming to america was my first international flight um so i know like a lot of people are in the same situation or the same cases so this is gonna be your first international flight and i just wanted to give you tips when you're coming here how to stay safe when you're flying internationally one thing you need to do like especially in regards with what you're carrying in your package if somebody gives you an item to bring to somebody in the united states or to bring it to anybody like you're going to school they're like okay do you mind taking this package and giving it to this person number one make sure that that person you really trust them you really know who they are because you have to understand some people they will give you packages that have items that will land you in jail if somebody gives you a package and then they're like you need to take this to the united states or you need to take this to whatever germany whatever any country um or literally like if you're flying like internationally usually they check your package sometimes like you get to airports and they'll have like dogs that sniff those packages so if you have anything like drugs cocaine stuff that are in the package the dog is not is gonna sniff it out and then guess who's gonna be in trouble not the person who gave you the package but you who's carrying the package so if somebody gives you a package just make sure you double check and know what it is especially i would recommend like if you get a package from somebody make sure like you know if it's like items uh they are bought in a supermarket they are packaged in the original package that it came with but if somebody just gives you something random um to bring here and you don't know who they are they're like oh my friend of a friend told me that you know you should help them you want the dv lottery you're going to america to take this package there you might want to double check that because some people will give you stuff that will land you in jail so can you imagine if somebody gives you a package and then you know it's sealed you don't know what's in there you put it in your check-in bag and then they call you they're like hey you nafula blah 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 can you come to counter six and then you show up because you don't know what's happening and then you get there and then you realize you had items in there that are drugs so you have to make sure like you know what like you double check whatever everybody's giving you so you just need to stay safe out there like you know not everybody's looking out for you so you have to look out for yourself make sure like those packages that they're giving you that you double check and know what's in it or what's in them before you bring a package to somebody in the united states and also like when you're at the airport just safety they tell everybody do not leave your luggage unattended so make sure like you carry on like you're checking it you have it at all times because somebody can put drugs in there somebody who's on the same flight as you can sneak put some drugs in there and then you get in trouble for the drugs and if you don't get in trouble like you get through they'll be like hey i think i put something in your bag and then they will take them back so just make sure like you know what uh you're just you're staying safe out there 
and then also when you go like you know travel internationally you're gonna meet a lot of people on the flights people will try to talk to you you can talk be friendly but then if they give you any packages they're like can you hold this package for me i'll come get it or can you hold this package i'm going to the toilet i'll be back can you hold these packages i have to go buy something i'll be back do not accept the package even if they're holding a baby and you think they're very smart they will be holding like two babies and they're like can you carry this bag for me because now that you think like oh they have two babies let me have them with the bag you're like no i'll carry your baby you know so just make sure like you know you're staying safe in regards to packages don't just take any packages from anybody either from home either when you're in transit do not take any packages and people now like they make like clothes they make like shoes i'll have pictures of those they have like shoes and they will put like cocaine in the middle or some drugs in the middle or they'll have like you know even slippers they so like you know you think it's on but then in the middle there's drugs so you just have to look out for yourself um it doesn't happen as often percentage is really really low for for it occurring but then what i'm just saying is if the percentage is 0.0001 percent if you're caught with those drugs the statistics won't matter because you'll be in trouble they won't be like you're 0.0001 you will be in trouble so when you're caught with the drugs the statistics don't apply so just make sure like before you bring something uh, to somebody in the united states you double check and make sure like you know what's in the package to review what i've been explaining in the videos like when you look at this picture here when you look at this picture look at these clothes here so somebody will give you an item like this you see they have tags on them look at these clothes but then when you look here they found this person like one of the items here had drugs in the middle that's what i was talking about like you know you somebody gives you a, an outfit that you think like you know what this is a good outfit i'm gonna take it to somebody who's somewhere and then you get caught with it this is jail if you're in china then you might be even sentenced to like death or something like that next uh this is not a very good image but then i i think you can see what i'm talking about like this is a slipper um and then like when you see this this one's here the white patches right here all this around those are drugs so the pills so somebody like literally put the pills in this sandal and then they cover it with the with something on top so when somebody's wearing it or somebody's carrying it in the bag or they give it to you you think like it's a normal shoe but then when you look at it it's all lined with drugs look at this next one this is a as a sole so this is the shoe uh, upside down and this is the sole so you see like in the middle look at this look at this so it's a shoe somebody gives you a shoe they're like can you take this shoe um, to whatever Germany for my family who's there and then the shoe has these drugs in the middle so that's why you need to keep an eye it doesn't happen a lot but when it happens it's really bad look at this other one so this one is just like a just as you know it's a regular shoe but then look at the sole in here it has like some stuff and then the last one like you can just see like this sole has like some stuff in it you know it's a shoe so what i'm trying to say is if somebody gives you an item to take to the united states you have to be careful make sure it's a trusted individual make sure you know what's in the items uh if you if it's possible let it be in the original packaging or alternatively you have to watch them as they pack and then also double check you know just check like you know if it's a shoe just check make sure the soles are okay um so that you don't get in trouble on behalf of somebody else because people are using this they go you know they give you items if you deliver they get paid a lot of money but in the real sense like you risk your life with your livelihood and everything that you're working hard for for somebody who is not even worth it so so just make sure if you get items um you get anything that you're given to you by somebody to take somewhere else you double check to make sure that is you know genuine it doesn't have anything weird because people out there they do weird stuff you know it's not very common to happen in africa usually in other countries but you know what like you never know who you're gonna run into so just make sure like you know what whatever um somebody or whenever somebody gives you something you double check to make sure what it is and also like i said in the airport if you get somebody's like can you hold this coat it's my baby's coat 
Can you hold this clothing? For me, I'm going to run to the bathroom. Do not do that. Just make sure you're not carrying anything that's not yours, anything that you're given by somebody. Do not do it. So that is my lesson for today. Thanks for watching. Thank you.